What a childhood meal you loved as a kid, but find disgusting as an adult. Kid cuisine. Soggy fries and spongy nugs. Classic, but also kind of gross. The pudding that sometimes spilled over into the mac and cheese. One of the most relatable comments in a while. Not a meal per se, but Sunny D. It's so sweet I feel like I'm going to die. I grew up drinking actual orange juice but would get weirdly excited about Sunny D. Then when I got older, I found it could mask the taste of an alarming amount of alcohol. Dangerous game. Edit, rip my inbox. One of my top comments is now about rusty screwdrivers lol. Hawaiian punch plus rum blackout juice as well. When I was home alone in the summer, I would microwave a piece of white bread with a craft single on top. Not about that life anymore. Try it in a toaster oven. Let the top film of the cheese bubble up and brown a bit. We called them cheese pop-ups. They were not terrible. Lol this is now my top comment. It is good to hear everyone's variations and nostalgic love for the cheese pop-up. And for those asking, I am not talking about the plastic film. When you toast American cheese slices the outer layer of the cheese is different from the inside of the cheese and it bubbles up as a weird film that turns brown and is delicious. We call that a trailer park grilled cheese. Except we use the regular toaster laid on its side because we couldn't afford a toaster oven. Also spaghetti noodles with ketchup trailer park spaghetti. Edit, rip my inbox trailer. Huh. I don't know how I forgot about something as simple and mundane as spaghetti noodles and ketchup, but I did. I used to eat the duck out of it. An actual spaghetti with a shit ton of ketchup. When I was young I mixed a whole jar of peanut butter in a bag of chocolate chips. I was incredibly sick afterwards but that didn't stop me from doing it again and again. Edit, okay, this blew up. I did this two or three times when I was six to eight years old. It was not a regular thing. My parents were not happy with me and it was the reason they stopped buying chocolate chips. The worst occasion was during a friend's sleepover. I projectile vomited in their bathroom and was not invited back. No, I was not a fat child and my parents are not overweight. I was just a stupid kid who hadn't learned portion control yet. These incidents happened when babysitters were not paying attention to me. Adult me loves puppy chow and while I don't eat peanut butter out of the jar with chocolate chips anymore I eat peanut butter cups and any good chocolate peanut butter combo. I may be trying some of the suggestions on here they sound yummy. Edit 2. Puppy chow is a mixture of peanut butter, chocolate and butter melted and combined with Czech cereal. Then you toss it in powdered sugar. I may be called something else in other locations but where I grew up it was called puppy chow because it looked like dog food. Edit 3. I can't spell right now. Thank you you misty gish. Maybe I'm the wrong person to judge because I've eaten over a dozen peanut butter cups today, but that sounds amazing. Ramen made by my mom. I love ramen, but the way my mom makes it is, overcook the noodles, drain all the water, add a ton of butter. Then it's just a greasy soggy mess. Edit, I forgot the most important part. You have to pronounce it Raymond noodles. Try making it like your mother then throw it in a frying pan and add a couple of beaten eggs. Ramen omelets are awesome. Ramlets A single slice of processed American cheese. Mmm, 64 slices of American cheese edit. Thanks for my first silver and my highest upvoted comment. Yes I have been up all night eating cheese and yes I am now blind. Have you been up all night eating cheese? I think I'm blind. Even just reading this made me have to chuckle into my forearm. The sad way Homer says that. Like he didn't do it to himself. Glorious writing and delivery. Duck, The Simpsons was so good. Ducking Kid Cuisine's 5 Yomi, wow this is delicious. 20 Yomi making 1 for my nieces, wow this all looks terrible I'm so sorry. Damn, this is the third time I've seen them in this thread. They must suck. What even is kid cuisine? Some brand of ready meal I guess? My grandmother used to make me peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwiches. I honestly don't know if they are disgusting now. I can't imagine actually eating one. Loved these as a kid, had a babysitter quit because she was too disgusted making them for me. 20 years later I understand where she was coming from. 
I used to eat cheese with sandwiches for lunch all the time as a young kid, since we could afford it. After years of it I came to hate it, and I how I can't stand it. My grandma used to make cheese was on toast for me. I loved it then, but the thought of eating that now makes me want to vomit. Butter. As a child I would take huge bites out of the butter stick. The thought of it horrifies me now but as a kid I loved it. Edit, glad I'm not alone. Still disgusting though. Edit 2, my first silver. Thank you kind stranger. My co-worker recently showed me shame sticks. Butter rolled in brown sugar. He brought it in for everyone to try. He was the only person who enjoyed it. Edit, I was not expecting this to blow up. Apparently this was a treat both he and his sister have enjoyed since a young age. He discovered the name from the gym show too. He's a pretty fit guy, we go to the gym three times a week together. Plays a lot of sports. Has a GF. This isn't the grossest thing he's told me he's eaten. Recently he admitted he used to eat Eggos with store-bought frosting cans and syrup in college. I get it sounds like cookies but that's like, a spoonful or two. Not an entire stick. What on earth made him think other people would enjoy that? He has no shame. Sounds to me like he had plenty of sticks full of shame to share. I live for pizza lunchables, but now the idea of eating cold shredded cheese and rubbery pepperoni on a sad little biscuit sounds awful. Edit, everyone's saying you're supposed to microwave them, but my mom only bought them for me when she was too stressed at work to deal with packing my lunch and my school didn't have microwaves for us to use, so I wouldn't know about that. Also, taco lunchables were brought up which were my second favorite lunchables option, and I had completely forgotten about those ones, but not a single one of you better try to tell me that those are still good because that meat packet was questionable AF. Trick cereal. Those ducking kids were right. Tricks are for kids. Yeah, I just can't do fruity cereals anymore. Tricks, fruity pebbles, etc. It just doesn't sit right with me. Salad sandwiches, peanut butter, lettuce and miracle whip on white bread. My brothers and I ate them like crazy as kids, just the thought is pretty revolting now. Peanut butter and mayo is a legendary way to challenge your friends to see who's more of a human garbage disposal than the other. But lettuce? That abhorrent. Yeah, it makes it almost healthy. What's up with that? Not a meal, but frosting. As a kid I'd try to get the cake piece or cupcake with the most frosting and lick it all off. Yum. Now as an adult when I get those cupcakes with this big swirl of frosting on it like soft serve ice cream I can't stand them. I scrape about 90% of that stuff off. And frosting flowers? No. Used to love them. Fun word to have enter your vocabulary for exactly this, cloying per Merriam-Webster, disgusting or distasteful by reason of excess sweetness excessively sweet or sentimental edit, Miriam to Merriam. Saccharin is a fun one as well. Kid cuisine. Had it once a week for most of my childhood and now I get sick just thinking of those chicken nuggets. Edit, thanks for my first silver. That brownie, though. Probably the best part except for when corn would mix in before microwaving. Or the plastic melted into it. Was I not supposed to eat that? My favorite meal was something my mom called tuna fish casserole. As an adult I discovered it was a can of tuna mixed with cream of mushroom soup with potato chips on top. Sugar water. Sugar. Dissolved in water. Edgar, your skin's hanging off your bones. Gogurt. I love the bright blue colored ones they weren't even fruit flavored, and were called something like paradise punch. It was just a thick sugar, flavor, and milk mix. Now, True kings would throw them gogurts in the freezer and have frozen gogurt popsicles. Bologna and ketchup sandwiches. White bread. Room temperature. Chef Boyardee ravioli. No one wants to admit they ate 8 cans of ravioli. But the first one doesn't count, and then you get to the second and the third. Fourth fifth I think I burned with the blowtorch. Then I just kept eating. Sucking on pennies. Really easy to make a dangerous typo on this one. Typo? I don't understand. I never grew out of sucking penis. Edit, typo.